so um <laughs> yesterday in the previous episodes um briefly this is after the revolution some radio schemes with sweden uh, some other journalists uh, the car the audis arriving but then there's some or a lot of cheating in there it disappears the car you know, I have to bribe the police to get it. And in the meantime, I mean, somewhere in between all this, John Foster comes with a truck, uh, not a truck, it's um, a van, but a larger van, I guess, a semi-truck, whatever. And she leaves uh, some, some things with us, and we're very happy, grateful. Again, grateful. I mean, if I hope she's still alive, she might be... Well, yeah, she might be... I mean, why not? She, she could be 70, 80. I, don't, I can't remember how much older she was from than us. But anyway, I, I, I think the other driver is not here anymore. He was 70, maybe, 30 years ago. So that will make him 100. But maybe he is like that captain who organized uh, something like a all-night charity. He was knighted, walking around his garden to raise money for the pandemic. So, um, uh, <laughs> we arrived in this village, they, they brought half, maybe more, three quarters, because there were pe more people there. And anyway, they were exploring, I think, the situation to assess what they need. And we parked the van somewhere, not at the house of the mayor, because of fears. Uh, some French people, maybe Belgium, had been before, and they left something, again distributed something. But it caused um, acrimony, um, animosity, hate, really, because uh, uh, one side suspected the other, or each expected the other one, I'm not sure, uh, attention anyway. And two major camps at the higher echelons of the village. Um, there was a conflict between two groups uh, there. Um, on one side, I mentioned there was the mayor, maybe the head of the chapel, the farm, state farm. And some others uh, might be. Uh, uh, and on the other, there was um, maybe the manager of the shop, again, the state shop. There were still state shops and they would be sold eventually. But... And the English teacher, I. I think I remember because um, the mayor had to use somebody else to translate so she, he called us uh, niece from Bucharest uh, who came and then we got together very uh, very well uh, splendidly so much so that uh, it was a bit of a, an embarrassment at times um, I mentioned the road to the border so <laughs> So it was very peculiar. We we stayed with the mayor. I slept in the same room with Socrates, but the the girl came over at one point, teased me and that, and things got uh, nearly out of control. But I said, okay, let's not because there's John, there's the wool here, and then uh, we don't want a, a big scandal here. We we we'll just wait. Uh, so, not that I'm so sensible, I mean, this is one of the rare occasions when surely I had to say this, I mean, there was no other way, not, uh, other than, I don't know, just having the police come around, I don't know. Um, so, I don't know where the policeman stood. Um, there was something. But the whole situation, the, as, as I said, this, 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 the, the man who was involved in driving and he was one of the organizers back, he was, oh my God, I mean, we, we're trying to help these people, but these people are nuts. They're just crazy. They're savages. And we were. They were. They were. We were. <laughs> we were too. <laughs> um, so, um, and it will be happening again in, in, in Maramuresh, actually, in Bayamare. But we'll get to that. So, um, they avoided each other, they had, they, they played rings around each other, and games with each other, games people play, that's a classic of uh, uh, psychology, Eric Byrne, 
yeah, identifying the, some some of the things we play. One one game is now I've got you, son of a bitch. If it weren't for you, that's played in in families, in couples. Uh, spouses say to each other, if it weren't for you, I would be president of of, uh, New, of New Zealand. Doesn't have has a prime minister of I don't know, Liberia of Austria. Uh, so that's one thing. Even if it seems maybe in that book, it, 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 that's, I've got that from there that we actually pick partners that will prevent us from doing something we don't want anyway but we pretend we want and then we can blame it on someone else we won't do it we say we are oh, it's so much i'll be and i will do that for sure but then if we select someone who can can be used as a as an excuse i mean oh, you stop me otherwise um, that's one reason we we seem to be doing this to have someone to blame we pick someone to stop us anyway um so um i have to stop saying it anyway and so but if i don't have your comments what can i do i continue with the same nonsense so, not so one thing was crazy um it's not in the chronological uh, order, but still, that's what I remember now. At the, at the end, before we left, uh, we, John and this oh, old Englishman, um, wanted to give something to the mayor. It was stopped until that moment because maybe. Maybe there would be a raid on the house, and then at least they would be, they would clear and demolish the walls, but they wouldn't find anything. So they left something, some bottles of wine, maybe maybe some uh, uh, moet or what's that? Uh, the expensive champagne, uh, uh, Dom Perignon, three hundred dollars a bottle. No. No champagne like that. Some some special wine and some I don't know, some gifts for the wife. And... But we had to go out 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 of the village and even and, and park like near the road, but a little bit into the field of, of corn. I'm just exaggerating. I don't remember the details. But as I said before, I'm just vaguely there's something. Like... But it was too much at that. Time. Too much, much more. Um, and um, when a car would pass by, which was not so often because very little traffic in those days, very few cars, we were like we were the, the mafia um, giving drugs for suitcases of money. I mean, we had to, it was so crazy. And then before that. Um, they had to distribute what they bought. And nobody wanted to have anything to do with it. So it it, it fell on me. I mean, it fell on me. I mean, I was uh, like the spouses. I was uh, uh, so much a uh, very stable genius type. And I say, I hate the guy, but she says, I have so much in common with him, or I envy him. Or... I, I I think it's very much loathing, and well, it, you can loathe some sides of yourself, and you, you can see them in others, and say, "Oh my God, that's so terrible," and maybe admit that there is something. Like now, I'm probably trying to admit that I was uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, arrogant, uh, showing off, uh, vain. And I said, okay, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> and so we went to the school, I think, or one of the official buildings there, it had, which should have been the school. They, they had, not huge, because it wasn't a, a, a long lorry, a 16 wheels lorry, or how do you call it? Um, not a small van. I think it was a larger van. But anyway, so there was there were things. There was some, some. and I opened the window and the people came. <laughs> At the window, and to begin with, I asked what 
I bought things and I so that what what would you uh, a blue dress that okay a blue dress uh, uh, that pink skirt I'm just as you can imagine making making it up okay I want those sunglasses I I don't think there were sunglasses maybe a few it's just as I I don't like them anymore they're not fashionable so okay let's give them to Romania and then okay so uh, they would start coming back. The skirt doesn't fit my daughter or sister. Or I, okay, can you? Okay, so we tried and changed. Then they came and I want a blue dress. Like, uh, that, that, that was the only one. There were two that's... Uh, oh, but why, I mean, why did you... So, gradually, um, some pleasure, <laughs> some gratitude, <laughs> uh, left the place for acrimony... Um, resentment, envy, jealousy, reproach. Why did you come? And why? What's this? I mean, that's all you. <laughs> uh, you could have. Uh, why did you give it to? Uh, because that was empty, pretty soon, and the feeling was uh, not of uh, satisfaction of something. Uh, you know, you've, you've done something ah. nice, something charitable, which I didn't. I mean, I wasn't really the one giving his own stuff. I mean. I was uh, getting quickly richer than those people because I was, uh, I mentioned in previous episodes, um, making good money. Some some days there were some days, not many, but with a few hundred dollars per day, which was fantastic. It was like Bill Gates um, compared with <laughs> the millionaires, but... Um, uh, well, then it changed. It went uh, down dramatically to twenty dollars per day with uh, radio reading because it was a longer term arrangement, like a few months, a couple of months, and then two months and, uh, and two weeks. I, I, it's vague there. It eventually ended, that's for sure. Uh, but there were other things going on. This was somewhere in the. In the period of the spring, so I, I, I could do this for a few days. Uh, it was crazy with the distribution of the aid, uh, with the rest, with the girl, with the mayor and his lada and the giant battery he had there. The separation and the giving of some bottles, some, 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 some other things for him and his family out in the woods. Not in the woods, really. I, mean, I don't think they had a forest nearby. Uh, it's a it's a region with many fields, uh, open country, and um, we said goodbye. And we took uh, because there was place now. I mean, the, the the van was empty. It was full of good stuff some of which was left in Bucharest with yours truly and then uh, hey I made an arrangement with uh, Socrates for that um, we shared but um, since we had place and, and we were keen on showing some hospitality of some kind we said well, we'll go with you to the to the border and that's what we did we stopped in Arad uh, shared the room and I went in the bathroom to have sex finally after two days of waiting or something with this uh, crazy girl who asked what uh, which way or what would you like and there was an oral sex uh, then and there. There was oral sex in Bucharest. And um, we, didn't, we didn't keep in touch for long. I mean, I called her. Also, uh, when we got to Bucharest, I called her uh, once or twice. But then uh, it was the end of it. Um, I would be a business partner, partner. Um, friendship 
might be analyzed uh, in, in episodes to come uh, with Socrates uh, in, in the sense that um, I keep referring to this Thomas Mann has a short story and the conclusion from there is f- love, friendship are words that mean so much you don't really find uh, uh, you don't find them in real life in that uh, for instance friends friends are uh, supporting each other uh, there for each other which is partly true but then we had some very very strong quarrels so we will get to that inshallah